Hi, moms. My name is Elena Fernandez, the positive mom, and I am so happy you're here because my passion is to provide you with steps, strategies, and skills for emotional wellness so that you can find peace, deep peace, and lasting peace so that you can also break on healthy cycles that are keeping you stuck or holding you back and so that you can also feel whole, a sense of pure, blissful wholeness. And today we're going to be talking about how to move through grief, loss, and emotional stress using essential oils. And I am a big fan of essential oils. And today I'm going to bring you five oils that can help you move through that grief process. And we're going to be talking about the five stages of grief, which is Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's model for moving through grief. And moving through grief is really important because unresolved grief results in unlived life. It means that you cannot move on with your life after a loss or perceived loss. And those five stages are number one is going to be denial. Number two is going to be anger. Number three is going to be bargaining. Number four is going to be depression. And number five is going to be acceptance, which is exactly where we want to be. Now, a little disclaimer here. This don't happen on a linear, logical, step-by-step process. It really looks like a squiggly because they don't have to happen in order. And as a matter of fact, it's perfectly okay if they don't they don't happen in order and another little piece of information that's really important is that if you're not okay with feeling or allowing yourself to feel some or one of these emotions then you're going to get stuck in that cycle and it's the never-ending cycles and this is why today I'm bringing you these oils that are going to help you move through that, of course, at your own emotional pace, but make it a little bit gentler on yourself and with a little more grace. So in the first step of denial, it's it's really where you are feeling in shock and confused and, and uh, in this belief that this is happening to you. you you're refusing to accept that this is happening. And for that stage, I have clarity. And clarity oil, it's really a favorite of mine because it really helps you feel stability, feel, of course, clarity (laughs) and spirituality. And it's a blend of basil, rosemary, peppermint, and other essential oils that are, you know, really rich and allow you to feel a sense of openness. And, and you can either apply it to yourself or inhale it, and you can also diffuse it. The second part of the grieving process is anger. And anger is actually a natural dis- response to injustice, to unfairness to something that we really didn't expect to happen. So it's absolutely normal and natural to feel angry. Um, In the scriptures, you say that you don't go to bed in anger. And that means that there's a place for your anger. However, it turns into resentment when you hash it out over and over again, and it starts to be a poison to you. So that is what resentment and grudges and hard feelings that you harbor for a prolonged period of time is going to do for you. So that's not going to be healthy for you. That's not healthy for us. That's not healthy for me. So applying release over your liver is really, really the best because that's where anger is stored bitterness is stored in the area of the liver. So that's where we would apply it. I really love the smell of release. (laughs) But, you know, it really helps us to let go and maintain that emotional balance so that we can release what doesn't serve us, like the hard feelings, the bitterness, and that 
unhealthy anger. And the third stage um, is bargaining. So what does bargaining look like? Well, putting the, the responsibility and the weight of the problem in something that you can do when there's really nothing that you can do about it. And that means like, okay, so if I do this, maybe I don't have to go through this if only. And of, of course, this is not logical and it's perfectly fine that it's not logical because it's an emotional reaction and we wish that things went back to normal or back to the way they were. Um, it's absolutely normal. However, it is uh, something that we mo must move through to move forward with our lives, to function at, at the best or, or the peak of our ability and our performance. And my favorite oil for that is surrender. <laughs> and surrender is um, an oil that actually is a blend of lavender, which is one of my favorites, black spruce, Roman chamomile, and other essential oils. And it provides just this sense of peace and joy and just letting go of the things that you cannot control. So you're releasing control to those things that you cannot control. So just like in the serenity prayer, you say, you know, let me have the wisdom, right? To know the difference between the things that I can control and I can take care of those, the things that I cannot con control to just let go of those. So surrender helps us do that. So it helps us move through that bargaining stage a lot faster and a lot, a lot more ease and peace and grace, which is what we want. And then, you know, the last part of working through things is going to be depression. And what is depression? Well, it's what we would call grief. Because whenever we say someone's grieving, usually it's because we see them in the depression stage. We unfortunately don't think that when someone's angry that they, they are grieving automatically, but that really is what they're doing. When somebody is really, really upset at themselves, at other people, at God, at, you know, an institution, at a community, um, it doesn't matter what they're anger, angry at, they are grieving. And same with when they're in shock and in denial or when they're bargaining. So usually when we see someone that's sad, um, looking hopeless and feeling down, feeling empty and really having that anguish and pain um, that is the stage of depression where people turn to express their feelings and you can actually see it you can see that they withdraw or that they um, have turned to some coping mechanisms that are unhealthy for them and what is the oil that I recommend for depression. I think you know because it's kind of an obvious one. <laughs> so it is joy. And this essential oil blend is a combination of floral and citrus essential oils, including ylang ylang and geranium, jasmine, palmarosa, rose, bergamot, lemon, and tangerine. And what it does is enhances love, enhances self-love. It brings joy in your heart. So where there was depression, it's going to melt that sadness, not because we want to get rid of it, not because we're going to, you know, deny or suppress or just bypass the grieving process, but we're going to facilitate a dissolution, a dissolving of all of these strong emotions so that they naturally allow us to move forward with our lives. So those are the, the four stages that we're working through forward and backwards and in all directions until we finally get to what, where we want to get, which is acceptance. And there's, you know, I'm going to right off the bat, show you the oil acceptance and basically 
you know, this acceptance is when you can let everything be as it is. And you are in love with the world, with people, and with yourself and the circumstances and condition and situations as is, uh, just as they are. And you can just be at peace with that. And that is something that is priceless. In the Bible, it says that we need to pursue peace. And this is what I feel like I'm doing whenever I apply acceptance oil, because acceptance is something that kind of resolves that inner struggle of things should be a certain way or things shouldn't be a certain way. So that that is why it's so important. And of course, all of these oils are really amazing. I have tried them myself uh, and I uh, use them in my daily emotional wellness practices. And I'm going to leave a link for you in the description below so that you can get your own and start with your own practice. I'm also going to be linking to the blog post so that you can get the protocol that I developed on how to move through grief, through the grieving process, and, and really what grief looks like so that you can be clear and really laser focused on what that looks like for you. And before I end, I would like to say that you matter. Family starts with you. So whenever you're taking care of the family, don't neglect one of its precious members. <laughs> Yourself, right? You. So take care of your mental health, prioritize your emotional wellness, and go through the grieving processes and through the grieving stages with ease, grace, and peace as you use these essential oils that are going to help you very much. Thank you so much for joining me today and stay tuned for more videos here at the Positive Mom channel. And again, my name is Elena Fernandez. And with that, be positive and you'll be powerful. See you soon.